GM 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 welcome to web3 club in today's video what we are going to finally learn is how do we mint random nfts from a smart contract this has been a fairly common request on my discord server a bunch of people have just asked how can we mint uh, nfts in a random fashion rather than a sequential fashion and my answer to most of them was just randomize the metadata but in today's video what we are going to understand is how do we mint randomly the token ids from the smart contract this will be really helpful if you don't have a reveal function and you just want to put all the metadata out there in the first go and people will then randomly mint from that but before we get started please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new here if you want to send me a message please leave it in the youtube comments i try to read all of them and if you have a specific question come join my discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out all right with that said let's get started so the first thing that we need for this is a library called erc 721r this github repository basically has some contract which makes it very easy for us to randomly mint this contract generates a pseudo random number and it is not the most secure thing in the world so if you're going to use it for something very very important I highly recommend you use something like Chainlink instead of this. This is good for a random mint that you're doing. If you're just uploading your NFTs for the first time, this is a very good way to just move forward. Remember that miners or validators in the future will be able to sort of generate a number for their own transaction in the way that they want. So the pseudo random number is generated with these inputs and then we basically create a random number and then pick out what is the ID that we want from the list of IDs that are available. So this smart contract gives us two different functions. One is called mint random and the other is called mint add index. Mint random as the name suggests randomly mints however many tokens that you wanted to mint. Mint add index non-randomly allows you to mint some tokens. So for example you want to mint some tokens before the public sale has started then in that case you would use mint at index. Make sure to use this function before the public sale has started which means before other people have started minting and whenever you're minting more than one so make sure that first you mint a number you mint the token id which is higher and then keep going lower. So if you want to mint token id 200, 150, 150, first you will mint 200 then 150 then 100 then 50. And of course, miners can game this, as I've already said. So if this is something that a miner will have a huge incentive to game, do not use this. One big limitation is that another smart contract cannot mint the NFT for some security reasons. All right, so how do we use this? So once you get to this repository, just go to contracts, then erc721r.sol. You will see the whole file. What you need to do is just copy the whole damn file. All right, then you go to remix. So in remix, what you do is create a new erc721r.sol and paste the whole contract. And then what you do is create your own NFT smart contract with the name, let's say mytoken.sol. So now with my token, you need SPDX and Pragma and whatnot. So make sure that all of these things are there. And then you just import the erc721r.sol file. And then you create a contract with my token which is an ERC 721R smart contract. All right. Now this smart contract requires you to create a constructor. So I'll create a constructor which sort of calls the ERC 721R with three different arguments. The arguments are the name, the symbol and the maximum supply. So the name will be, let's say my token in our case, the symbol will be MTK and the max supply that we want to do is I guess uh, 500. Now the next thing that we want is a function called mint uh, which, is an, which is an external function. Now this mint function will call mint random and mint random requires two attributes. First is the address, the two address for which we want to mint which will be msg.sender in our case and the other is the number of quantity that the user wants to mint. So let's say I just write quantity over here. Now we 
of course need to accept this quantity from the user itself now you can add your other requirements here for example if you don't want a user to mint more than five just make sure that you require that the user cannot mint the quantity needs to be less than let's say five less than or equal to five or uh, you keep a mapping so that you know how many how many nfts a specific uh, address has minted you can of course make this function payable as well so that whoever is trying to mint an nft they are paying you in eth or whatever is the native token of the chain for example matic in polygon but today what i'm going to focus on is only on the random minting part now if you want to add a base uri what you need to do is create a function called uh, underscore base uri this function needs to be internal view virtual and it returns let's say a string a string of the type memory actually and then here you can return whatever the string needs to be let's say ipfs colon slash slash and your underscore cid and then slash all right so this is how you create a base uri and then with this base uri we will append a token id to it and then that is how we get the metadata for the nft also make sure to add the override uh, option over here so that solidity knows we are overriding a function one more thing that you can add is mint and index which is used for reserving a few tokens for the team or marketing purpose or whatever. What you do is basically call this function underscore mint and index with two for the who should receive who should receive this NFT and index being the token ID of that NFT. Make sure whenever you call these functions, they are in the descending order. So the highest token ID will be first and then you keep going down. So let's say we want to create a reserve function for uh, five NFTs. So what we'll do is function reserve and then this function will be an external function. Make sure to add only owner and all those things over here. And then you call mint at index with two being let's say the message dot sender and the index being an index that we'll create now. So we want to reserve five. So what we'll do is for u int i equals five. We need to make sure that i is greater than zero, and then we reduce the i with every step, and then we just paste this over here with index minus one as the value that we want to mint. Now, to if you want to add only over only owner over here, what you will do is you will import the ownable module from Open Zeppelin and then basically make my token inherit from that. All right, once this is ready, what we are going to do is we are going to compile it. And once it is compiled, we are going to deploy. And today I'm going to deploy directly to Rinkeby. So everything is ready. I select my token and I click on deploy. And now I'm waiting for the deployment to complete. So I'll just click confirm. And now the transaction has been sent for deployment. Now that it is deployed, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first reserve. Make sure this is done first. So I click on reserve. And now I just need to uh, complete the transaction. Once this transaction completes, the zero to five will be reserved for myself. And voila, the transaction is complete. Now, if I want to see what are the token IDs that I have received, uh, what I can do is just uh, get this area bigger and click on the transaction that was just sent. Here you will see the logs part here. You will have a transfer event, which will list down the token ID of the token that was minted for us. So for this one, we had token four, three, two, and one and then zero all right now this is a little hard to see but just trust my word okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to mint three more tokens so now these should be random right now we have just reserved in a sequential order now these should be random so i click on transact and i wait for the transaction pop-up to come once the transaction pop-up comes i click on confirm and now i just wait for the transaction to go through Great, the transaction has gone through now. I can again go and see in the logs, but what I want to show is the Etherscan on Etherscan basically. So I click on view on Etherscan and this time you will see that there were three ERC721 tokens that were minted, which were 367, 456 and 181. All three are random. Now, let me mint uh, 10 more. All right, and click on transact and wait for the transaction to go through. And again, these 10 more should be again in a different random order. Click on view on Etherscan again and wait for the transaction to go through. All right, the transaction has gone through and now you can see the tokens that were minted were 292, 139, 173, 219, 90, 349, blah, blah, blah. All randomly generated. So this is how you generate 
random token IDs from your NFT smart contract. As you can see, the code is very small. This is the only part that you need to understand. And the only thing that you add, need to add is the only owner bit that I will leave to you as an exercise, which is a very simple exercise. If you're not able to figure out, just check my other videos and just try to see what code to copy. If you're not able to figure out even after that, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people who will help you out. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If this video was helpful, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Let YouTube know that your boy is doing good and let them know that they should promote your boy. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you want to send me a message, go down, go to the YouTube comment section, leave a comment. I will definitely read it. And if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. I hope to see you again next week. Till then, bye-bye.